Why was six afraid of seven? <laughs> because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Misha, and today we are actually doing two things. Yep. Today we're going to go ahead and cover week nine of my weight loss journey, as well as doing a workout for today. Before I get started, if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that lovely subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell to stay up to date on all of my videos. So I was tagged by Workout Diabetic Man here on YouTube, and there will be a link to his channel in the description box below. So I definitely recommend checking him out. Basically, he tagged me to post another workout video here on YouTube. Now you can watch my previous video that I did like of a workout just go ahead and click the little icon card or whatever wherever it pops up to go ahead and watch that I planned on you know doing another video of me doing a workout anyway so I guess that this just gives me another incentive to do that really quickly as a disclaimer I am NOT a professional trainer or a professional dietitian, nor am I trying to do the typical workout video whenever I do these workout videos. So I'm basically not going to be standing in front of you guys with a giant smile on my face pretending like I'm enjoying myself or encouraging you guys to continue. This is just a way for me to document part of my weight loss journey and one of the big parts of my weight loss journey is actually me doing these workouts. These actually help me regulate my weight loss, so that's why I'm doing this. My typical weekly workout schedule is basically on Mondays I do arms, Tuesdays I do legs, Wednesdays is full body, Thursdays again is back to arms, Fridays back to legs, and Saturday is core. And then obviously on Sunday I rest, basically. So this is what works out for me and you guys can follow along with these workouts if you wish, like if you'd like to. Anytime I do these workout videos, I will put some text down here or something along those lines of the each exercise that I'm doing. That'll include the reps of the exercise, the sets of the exercise, and the breaks that I take in between each exercise, like the duration of the breaks. But I'm not going to like produce a long video of me actually doing this in real time. I'm actually just going to speed along through each of these. So on to week nine. Week 9 really was basically just kind of like a run-of-the-mill week for me. I didn't really do all that much extra. The only different things is that I dyed my hair, so it's obviously a brighter red. I submitted a gaming video, I submitted that workout video, so I definitely put out more videos this week for this channel. That's about it. I ate as normal. I did include a couple more exercises. My exercise on Thursday was more mostly stretching because I was still really sore and I just, yeah. There wasn't really too much of a difference in things that I did for the week except for doing more videos and including more workouts. So that's really about it. Oh, oh. I did actually like measure myself with a measuring tape and there were a couple of things that changed. I'll post it up like here or something somewhere what changed and what those changes were. I lost an inch or so in a couple of places and gained an inch, an inch or so in other places, namely in my arms and my thighs. I have no idea why. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we don't know. I, 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 I just don't know. <laughs> but obviously, you know, I've, I've been trying really, really hard. And the scale isn't going to tell you everything as far as your progress is concerned. So uh, if, you, if you know this already, or even if you don't and you're getting discouraged by the scale, I, in I highly recommend investing in a measuring tape. You can get one really cheaply at Walmart. And what you do is you measure your neck, like the diameter around your neck, you measure your bust, if you're a woman, you measure your chest, which is like right here, oh my god, I'm looking at these heavy bitches, you measure your chest right underneath your boobs if you're a woman, and then you measure your arms, then I'm gonna stand up here, you measure your waist, which is the narrowest part of your torso, so for me it's like right by my belly button. So right there, measure your waist. 
and then you measure your hips at least this is the way that I do it so I measure my hips which is like the widest part of my body and then you measure your thighs and your calves and that's it that's how you do it so yeah I uh, the only places that I actually gained any size like in diameter is on my arms like right here like my little bat wings right there and my thighs I have no idea why I don't know if it's because I increased muscle there and just didn't lose all of this fat or if it's because I just increased the fat I don't know whatever we, we are my goals my biggest goals for my body is to tone these flappity flap bad wings right here to tone in between my thighs like right here because my muscles my legs are pretty muscular but it's like in between my like that thigh gap area I don't really care if I have a thigh gap itself but there is a big old hunk of fat in there and obviously to tone up my stomach a little bit and get rid of back fat because back fat happens <laughs> but yeah that's about it I mean I don't I don't really care if I have the flattest stomach I just you know want to see improvement so uh, I don't know why I went on a whole big old tangent about that but anyways so yeah I gained inches in my arms and my leg and my thighs but I lost about an inch everywhere else so I feel like I'm still making progress I've just got to work a little bit harder on specific areas and as we know you can't really just target areas you kind of have to just work on your whole body and then let your body take care of its natural process of removing the fat so that's pretty much what I'm doing it might seem like I'm targeting areas but I'm really not <laughs> so now as far as my actual weight loss is concerned last week for week 8 when I had done the update on week 8 I was 221.6 when I weighed myself this past Saturday on the uh, 28th I was 221 pounds so I lost only 0.6 of a pound but still 0.6 is better than nothing I have said it in the past and I will continue to say it I'm in this for the long haul I'm not in this to just get really quick drastic weight loss and then stop I'm in this to basically build a new lifestyle for myself so if I'm not dropping weight really quickly but I'm seeing progress elsewhere I know that I'm doing well so obviously you know you're not always going to lose weight some weeks you might actually gain a little bit back but the scale doesn't tell you everything and the scale is kind of a liar so you can weigh yourself all that you want but if you're not measuring like your actual body and seeing the progress in your actual body then you're never gonna get that mindset that you're improving I know that I'm improving because I have lost inches elsewhere on my body even if the scale only went down like 0.6 this week a little bit of progress is better than none and that's where I'm going also part of the reason I probably would be a lot farther along as far as like my actual body size is by now if I had stopped making excuses for not doing workouts and instead just done the workouts but you know what's done is done we're gonna pause right here and we're just gonna move forward from here because I'm done making excuses I'm done you know like saying oh I just couldn't get to it because of this I looking back on those those weeks that I submitted the videos I know that I could have fit in a workout in there I have an app called seven minute workout I could have fit in a seven minute workout in that hectic schedule so regardless I'm going to no matter what I'm going to try to do my workouts if I do four workouts a week 10 minutes each that's better than me not doing a workout at all so that is my goal <laughs> that is my goal now with that being said that's that's pretty much my weight loss this past week yeah so we're just gonna go ahead and actually jump into this workout I've got three warm-ups 
four actual like workout exercises and three cooldowns. I'm going to breeze right through them. See you when it's done. So that was week nine of my weight loss journey as well as my workout for today. So I don't know if there's anything else I can cover. <laughs> uh, workout diabetic man, if you liked this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. You definitely leave a thumbs up because you challenged me to this and I feel like I rose up to the challenge despite technical difficulties multiple times with my phone, so yay! <laughs> All the rest of you guys, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Remember, they are important. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, go ahead and smash that lovely subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell to stay up to date on any videos that I submit in the future. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions about videos that you think that I should submit in the future, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you just want to say hello, hello! Links to all of my social media will be in the description box below. As always, I love all of you guys to death. Stay strange, love one another, and most importantly, love yourselves. You guys have a fantastic day. Bye!